You probably already know what shaker cards are. Today we are going to make a couple of them and we are going to add a little something to make them extra special. Hi everyone, I'm Amanda, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make shaker cards. There are lots of types and ways to make shaker cards out there, but today we're going to make the typical window shaker card. But instead of one window, we're going to make two windows. So it's going to be a double window shaker card, like that. Now you close, you can see. Now you open, you can see. I don't know if that's so cool, but I liked it and I thought you may like it too. So let's see how to do it. These are the main supplies I'm going to be using today. We need dies to create the windows. Also, of course, cardstock. Acetate sheets, you can buy these ones, but you can also get them from your packaging, for example, from background stamps. Also, we need double-sided foam and a stamp set that you like. In this case, I'm using these fairies that are really cute. Of course, also you need sequins for the shaker. Now, if you don't have double-sided foam, you can just use regular foam and glue it with liquid glue. As you can see here, the first thing I'm doing is creating a window on my base cards, but I'm going to create two panels at once because I want both of them to be exactly in the same place and normally a die cutting machine will have enough power, let's say, or um, strength to create both circles at once. If it doesn't happen, if it doesn't cut all the way through both panels, it doesn't really matter because you can always just take the second one that didn't cut through and put the die in the exact same place and run it again through your die cutting machine. So now we need to close those windows and for that we're going to be using acetate which is basically a transparent piece of plastic. Now when you make a shaker card normally you will place the acetate behind the window because you're also going to add a panel that will cover the ugly part. But because this is a double window you should place the acetate on the front part of the panel of the base card and then the second panel that we created there you should place the acetate behind it. So in the end, when you place one on top of the other, both ugly parts will be inside. So I hope I made some sense there. Once we are done with the acetate, we can start creating the space between both windows so the sequence can move. Now for that I'm going to use two layers of double-sided foam, but depending on the sequence and the amount of them that you want to use, you can sometimes get away with using just one layer of foam, which is what I'm going to do for the second card. Here you can see I followed the same procedure for the second card. I did not add the foam yet, but we will do that later. Now we're going to prepare all the other elements that we need, the images and the panels that I'm going to place inside the cards. Of 
for coloring I'm going to be using Copic markers, you can use any medium of course, and I will only show you a snippet of the whole process because all the rest is basically the same thing. Now it's time to put everything together and of course I made a mistake because I actually wanted to place those flowers and the grass inside the card so you could see them through the window but you cannot see the back part of them because I don't have the back parts of the flowers or the grass as I do with the fairies. So I don't know why I didn't do it that way, I was not thinking very clearly but it doesn't matter, I will do it for the second card.
As I said, I'm going to be using only one layer of foam for the second card and I'm using this one that is really narrow and convenient. Now, if you want to add two layers, you can go ahead and do that. But in my case, because I'm not going to be using lots of sequins inside, they are going to move just fine. And those are the special window shaker cards I had for you today. Remember that all the supplies are listed below. And if you have any questions, please ask me in the comments below. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching here you have a couple more videos you might be interested in watching and you can also become a subscriber if you want if you do so and even if you are already a subscriber don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything i post have a great day and see you again soon bye